Martin Mekuna, welcome back to the Good Morning Niger Show. And yes, we still they talk about a lot of things with the Shell for Niger. We don't from our top stories enter our newspaper story segment where we give another things with a trend on top of the newspapers. We're probably going to say we will still talk about this Undo elections we just pass. And uh, a lot of people don't even know say it happened. They just believe say okay, the thing the matter we carry everybody uh, na the protest on the things with the Shell. But yes, uh, over the weekend the Undo elections been Shell and uh, the governor now nah, they don't elect and come back say okay you try but the matter still day people see the talk on the low we see some kind of things on top of a newspaper earlier but we'll go talk to one better individual he named na uh, damilola fadoju and a media practitioner bros welcome to the show this morning thank you how are everything how are you day we day with the push as first one <laughs> i like the, you know the reason why they ask that question because you say uh, as it be now things they happen for our side as uh, in everywhere i get as it be everywhere get as it be bass 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 bass. <laughs> so uh, before we even enter the matter of uh, what did happen for lagos more even carry the matter we carry us come here this morning now on those states uh, the election has been happened over the weekend and a lot of people don't even know say it happened because they don't say they supposed to happen but that day people they focus on on uh, other things but you uh, you get better insight on the things we share for them so yeah. you, you are just sharply run us through as you take see the matter for their side um i mean on those states uh, the election actually happened mm -hmm. um last weekend and um build up to the election i mean it's 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 been locked up. Um, people are talking about it on Rantan mm -hmm. and uh, eventually happened on Saturday. Um, it was peaceful. Um, I mean, kudos to um, INEC okay. for what they were able to do. Um, at least to some extent, uh, the security uh, personnel were on ground. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, the violence level was very, very drastically reduced. Okay. Um, to some extent, people were able to actually come out and exercise their franchise. So um, kudos to INEC hmm. for, for, for organizing a very peaceful election. A lot of people yeah. been one they uh, compare the Edo state elections to the Ondo state election. Mm. They say, ah, the Edo own. And uh, very peaceful. Now, what the people want? Mm. Everything they well. They mm. come out, they jubilate. But people gonna say, as the Ondo on TB, come be like, say, they all do our money low. People just sharply, uh, more, just uh, do the election sharply, more, call our winner, more, move. How, say, if you compare both of them as per se, okay, this one, the level at which they, they operate, will make sense. Mm. Now, the same thing, now, in the, they happen for the uh, on, on those state election. Uh, you know, um, it's quite similar. Okay. Uh, if you look at it, a uh, do uh, election, uh, the equivalent um, governor actually won. Yes. At the so there was some level of comparison. I mean, there was this uh, tag out there that. Um, I don't know be Lagos. Yeah, and yeah, to some yeah. extent, people were talking about, oh, don't know be I do. Uh -huh. you know, so there's some level of similarity. However, um, the difference is that uh, the turnout okay. you know, uh, wasn't as, as, as strong as uh, we was in Edo. Okay. Um, I could say because of the build-up, um, people were a bit scared hmm. um, because of the candidates that were involved. There was so much of tension. So I think that actually made people want to sit back at home and at least you know, safeguard their heads. You know? hmm. and, I mean, looking at what is happening in the country, there's a lot of insecurity. So yes, people yes. don't really have that trust to want to come out and exercise that patient. So mm. it's a different story entirely, looking at a do versus a do, do. Do, you know. And um, like I said, we had like three key candidates that yeah. were actually vying for that position. That position like yeah. those days, we just have two major candidates. Mm -hmm. So um, like that tension was there. Uh, people didn't know what was going to happen, you know. Uh, but like I said initially, um, at the end of the day, it was very peaceful. But basically, the turnout was low. It was uh, low. I mean, mm. look at the state of about 3.5 million people, and you're having just about 500,000 people coming out to vote. Mm. You know, it's it's really nothing to um, write home about. You know, mm. uh, we can only you know begin to tell our people the importance of coming out to exercise their um, franchise. You mm. know, because at the end of the day. If you have a government in power and you can speak for yourself to say you came out to vote for, to the vote government, for that government, you can also have that confidence to say, okay, this is what I'm getting in return. Yes. You know? So um, that's just the difference. Hmm. Um, um, at the same time, I mean, maybe we'll be continuing to talk about hmm. other things. There are yeah. so many other things that we need to begin to look at. Now, the looking election. at uh, the fact that he talks about security, they usually they affect the turnout of people coming out. And uh, we know, say, this thing, a uh, national situation, not be saying uh, only uh, media peculiar to the states. Yeah. We know, say, if they won't do national elections, two people see they talk about this thing, and no go won't come out because I know trust, say, the thing will be safe. Now, looking at that kind of situation, what do you feel, say, the, the government need to even put in place first to get people, to make people trust this whole process of say, okay, if I come out to 
I go fit exercise this right where I suppose exercise. I still talk on every individual, every way we citizen suppose do one. So what thing you feel say government go need to do to the, whether or not to, to enlighten more people, let them know say they're supposed to do and because you say over a, a, a population of over um, three point something million. Mm -hmm. Now only five hundred thousand nine come out come vote. Mm -hmm. He no even reach half. Yeah, you yeah, understand? He yeah. no even reach half. So, yeah. what do you say the government need to even do regarding this kind of situations? Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> government has a lot to do. Mm. Um, first and foremost, I think voters' education is very key. Okay. Uh, because if the people don't know why they have to come out, I mean, they wouldn't have any reason to come out. That was uh, So, it's very important that we continue to sensitize um, the general populace, you know. Uh, National Orientation Agency needs to be more proactive. I mean, it's not enough to have an agency and don't really come don't out come to the necessary thing yeah. that has to be done. So it's very important that our government, you know, every now and then, it doesn't have to be towards the period of election, even before election. I mean, tell people the essence of coming out and also reassure them that, you know what, if you come out, your vote will count and you'll be protected from any form of violence whatsoever. So our youths, most importantly, we need to tell them that violence does not actually pay. Um, okay. It's important that if you want to speak, you speak. I mean, let people know what you want to speak for rather mm -hmm. than just coming out because it doesn't take us anywhere. Rather, we keep destroying our infrastructure around. So mm -hmm. key point is that voters' education is very key. Mm -hmm. Government needs to continue to mm -hmm. educate, reorientate people mm -hmm. on the essence of coming out to vote. Makes sense. Makes sense. And we will hear say uh, some people, they buy votes that they, for, for that place. So they, they give them some kind of small money. So yeah, come vote for this person, come vote for that person. She, you, you see that kind of thing happen. She, you know say this kind of thing happen for them. You know, <laughs> honestly speaking, um, it actually baffled me like to see the level of uh, poverty in mm. the land. Uh, it was quite surprising to see that um, people were exchanging their rights, their votes, between the range of 4,000 naira to 7,000 naira. I mean, it's quite sad. Mm. And um, at the same time, you, you want to also try and look at it from this angle to say that, okay, um, is it really their choice? Is this something they're happy about? Um, so many people. Um, are really in that situation where they can't even afford three square meals a day. Yeah. So when you come to them and you offer them that, I mean, that very cheap amount of money, they, they tend to want to just switch, and you know. So it was, it was, it was very, very um, rampant. Uh, vote buying was very, very rampant during the election. Okay. And I, that is why I keep on hammering on the fact that government needs to begin to talk to people. I mean, uh, beyond government, we need to begin to educate ourselves to mm -hmm. say, you know what, if if someone comes to you and tell you, I'll give you 5,000 Naira for, for the next four years. I mean, 5,000 Naira is not even enough for you to... How you want to divide <laughs> 5,000 Naira for four years? Do you get How you so, want to divide that? Exactly. So, I mean, for the next four years, I mean, mm. at the end of the day, when you keep complaining of bad roads, electricity, um, low food, you know, high cost of living, yeah. you, you, you've already sold your rights. I mean, you don't really have the voice anymore. So mm -hmm. it, was, it was very rampant. The election was mad. I said the fact that it was very peaceful. Mm -hmm. uh, INEC officials, they really did well. But I mean, vote buying was very, very, very rampant. In the history of Ondo State, I could, I could say that uh, this is one of the period where it was, it was, it was mostly about vote buying. I mm. mean, uh, um, it's hard to say that people's voice were actually heard uh, because people tend to exchange and say, you know what, I, 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 I was able to interview a couple of people and yeah. they were of the opinion that, I mean, good enough for them, they could actually get like 5,000 naira. At I'm least. Sure. At least. May I call it 5K? Exactly, and be fine. But I can tell you, give them another two or three days, they will come back, they will to, come the back to the same situation. You know. So, but now we, we, we talk say sometimes, now nah, the fact say these people, they sell their four years for 5K. So you go talk say, now nah, because of the poverty, now nah, they make them, they do this kind thing. Or a nah, lack of, of, of education on what thing they, they do. Trust me, it, it has nothing to do with education. Okay. I mean, initially I was a bit skeptical to say, okay, is it because of... Probably they, they, they don't know. No, no, no. no. They are not so, aware. So, so uh, an incident happened in one of the um, um, uh, elite areas in Ijak West, is precisely in okay. Akure. I mean, that's uh, when you talk about the lekki of Lagos, that's mm. exactly. So you see the same thing happening in that place. And you keep asking yourself that, why? If you have people of high caliber helids who live around there and mm -hmm. you still have that kind of... So you begin to have the question of that, okay, is it about education? No. Mm -hmm. It's about the poverty level. It's about people not 
understanding why they need to do the right thing. Mm. So uh, it's no news that Nigeria is, 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 I mean, I really don't want to say about, I mean, the poverty level in Nigeria is really, really terrible. Mm. You need to go to some other state beyond Ondo State, beyond Lagos State, and see that level of poverty. So it has nothing to do with education, right? Mm. It has to do with the poverty level, because how do you explain it? True. 5,000 naira for the next four years. It's, if, it's, if they want to do the math, self, you know, go even they divide five thousand for four years. All, you know, go you, you can't even you can't even explain uh -huh. what you would use to achieve that. Uh -huh. You know, but uh, as the as the situation take be now, uh -huh. we know say as you talk and say the vote by and they rampant. Uh, but when that kind of situation they happen, she no uh, um, um, officials they we go check this kind of thing. We go talk say ah, what do they do for there? Why this person they follow you talk or you will come here waiting your own business for, for, for this polling unit? Are you coming to vote or you are coming to sell? Say people know they to check these kind of things where they happen. So I mean there are people there. Um, um, from the things I met on ground, uh, there, there are situations where some security um, personnel okay. actually arrested a couple of people for for doing that, okay. and that is why I give kudos to the security agencies for doing their job well. However taking us back to that poverty level even mm -hmm. when you have situations like that people are even willing to willing to do that to do that mm. so there's a little you can do when people are actually open to say okay you know what i'm ready give me the money give me the money <laughs> so it's a different situation where we are trying to force people to yes. say oh you come and do this so i mean with that kind of situation there's really little the security agencies can do because the people are the ones actually asking for such things. Hmm. You know? Now, this is, this is quite unfortunate. Now, mm -hmm. uh, prior to the build-up of the elections, there, be, there was a day where we see one um, a matter for the newspaper where they talk mm -hmm. to the, they sign peace treaty. Whether now mm -hmm. war will they go fight. <laughs> Even going on a session election now war, why yeah. will you have to say, okay, we go sign, say peace, go day for us to do an election? Election mm -hmm. is supposed to be mm -hmm. violent uh, uh, action. It's supposed to be people go come out. They go vote. They will, we are call winner. Mm -hmm. This kind of thing, they, they happen. What do you feel about that thing, uh, Well, it's where we've gotten ourselves to in this country. Mm -hmm. um, the way elections are done in the Western world, it's not the way elections are done in Nigeria At particularly. All. So, um, all because of the the tantrums, the rants, the everywhere before the election. Yeah, they, they, they the throw each other bass boots. Exactly. So, <laughs> the same thing happened in those states. Mm -hmm. you, you really want to maintain law and order mm -hmm. so um i think because of where we are i mean sometimes you you really need some of those things so that the the populace can be assured that i mean our lives are secured okay um it's quite unfortunate that that that's that not the way we should have elections but yeah. i mean that's where we find ourselves in this country hmm. you know? this thing this is that's that's one thing we see we say ah not be fight with the con fight now with the con select person we go lead us not be problem you know it's and we also see for some of the uh, newspaper papers uh, this uh, morning away uh, people they talk say some of the as the the, the governor they don't talk say nah, i ain't win now nah. the people we follow and they run the matter the guys with, with the other candidates for the other party say they, they look the results, they see the check -in. They never to agree, say, okay, it don't happen, it don't happen. They still, they check -in. But as the matter take be, you feel, say, anything will happen after now, even if, say, the, the, they don't declare um, one person winner. If you say anything will happen after now. Well, I, I can understand where the um, other aspirants are coming from, because mm. if you look at the results, out of about uh, 18 local governments, um, the APC administration um, uh, won about 15. About 15? Yeah, and the uh, PDP got like three local governments. So mm -hmm. um, if you look at all the three key candidates, they all come from a different senatorial districts. Yeah. Um, you look at the sitting governor, um, it's from, uh, he's from the Northern Senatorial District, so mm -hmm. or war. Um, the next person that's the uh, Itayo Jekete is also from uh, the Central, that's Akure. So, um, the Zenit Labour Party candidates as um, Abola Jai mm -hmm. from the South. So you can understand that every candidate will expect some certain results mm -hmm. from each of their um, regions. So mm -hmm. um, Itai or well expected one like the Centra yeah. and with a uh, federal local government. Mm -hmm. um, a Zenit Labour Party, Party candidate, Abola Jai, fronted by the former um, governor of Ondo State, um, Imiko. Um, you know, you would expect that 
it, it should wait. It should have some, some, some grounds, yeah. I mean, so when, when they come out at the end of the day to say, I mean, how come? You now, know, as in, you out of that all the, the, the local government area, now only this small, no, exactly. that's true. So that's you true. expect that they want to contest it. I mean, mm. uh, it's, it's, it's something that happens every day in the election mm -hmm. in Nigeria. You expect some of these guys to come out and say, we need to contest the election. Yeah. But we'll wait and see what happens at the end of the day, you know. We, we, we actually hope, say, this thing no go to drag. Because people, they talk and say, when they don't carry a matter, go cut like this. Mm. Now, their money, where they go spend, where they suppose supposed you stay focused on the uh, state moving forward, they will come, they spend money on top, cut matter, back yeah. and forth, do this, do that. Mm. Hey, but as it be, so uh, if you want to rate this, uh, this election, now we have one, based on the Edo on Weishele, uh, how you go take rate this uh, on those state elections, where happen so? Uh, for me, I'll give it like uh, 7 to 75 percent. Uh, wow, uh, wow. So, man. That's that, that's quite a lot. <laughs> that's, that's quite, quite a, a lot. lot. <laughs> Seven to seventy to seventy-five percent. Yeah. Uh, but as you say, talk, um, uh, you talk to the thing they peaceful. Now just yeah. the vote buying matter. Exactly. Nine calls. Exactly. Small rift for there. Oh. Well, they okay. They okay. Well, for people we don't know, say the elections even happen. Uh, we say make we carry uh, our b b b better bros enter studio. T tell us how the matter take because himself he experienced and first hand in see the things we share. As and believe so, I don't uh, highlight the thing where he talks. Say now the vote buying matter. Nine no too pure for there. Uh, but as we the, as we take see for the the, the the papers, the other candidates will not win. They talk say they, they study the results and uh, they don't carry an like exam. They don't they read them. Okay, why this one happened? Why this 